Good morning, Colombia. You're watching. Yes. With him and Hi. Hello. I'm still Meredith. And I am probably Madeline. First, we have up. Uh, my friend Audrey Keeper is a really, really talented artist, and I thought it'd be nice if we showcased some of her work this week and got some of her views on art. And then throughout this show, we thought we would compete against each other. So this competition is the Saltine Challenge, which is supposedly an impossible challenge, which no one can ever do. It's eat six saltines in one minute. <laughs> one minute, hey? Anyway, after that, Erica, um, she is working on uh, art and makeup for a film that's coming up. Um, one of the characters is, uh, you're going to see him get a makeup test. To the show. Adios. Six saltines in under one minute. No, oh, it's okay. Oh no, you can't spit it out. <laughs> 17 seconds. It's getting all over you. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. What? 40 seconds. Oh, my God. 45 seconds. 55 seconds. 5, 4, three. Uh, my name is Audrey Kiefer and I am an artist of, I don't know, it ranges in different ways. Um, I do paintings, illustrations, and textile and surface design. I've been doing art for a long time. I mean, I would say since I was a kid, but I started taking it seriously when I graduated from college. Um, I got a degree in creative writing and decided that I didn't want to continue going that direction, so I just started taking it more seriously after that. I focus mainly on color and shape. Um, I definitely have a lot of um, influence of, from fashion and a lot of, um, even like a lot of design from like vintage uh, interior design and such. Um, so I have like a lot of design aspects in my work. And a lot of, I'm inspired by a lot of the abstract painters. I do more abstract, um, like I do have some drawings with, uh, that are realistic because it's something that I want to keep doing. I don't want to stop doing it. It's kind of like one of those muscles that you constantly have to work on. Um, and I enjoy doing it, but usually I'm more drawn to um, doing abstract work. Art to me is something that I find to be important and it's not really important to me and like I know some artists think of it as like an intellectual thing and I don't feel it is that way for me personally um, it's just a way to enjoy and beautify my environment it's an emotional expression as well um, it's, it's a personal thing I think that a lot of people nowadays are wanting to cut the arts out of everything which I think is really disappointing because I can't like there's just like with like art and design, there's like so much um, in our world that's like has created everything that we are around and surrounded by. And I think it's like it's really important in that way. But the hair one is my friend Daniel cut his hair, and I was like, "Hey, can I have some of your hair? I feel like doing something with it." And I just put it into the pain and worked with the colors. It was like an experiment for me. 
everybody was just like, whoa, that was like really gnarly. Because there's like certain parts where the hair is like mixed in with this like red color and it looks really bloody. I don't know. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's slightly disturbing in certain spots. It's sort of playing off what I've been doing. It's just basically me playing with color. I, th I think I've been doing a lot of those kinds of paintings because I'm trying to find colors that I'm like inspired by for my design work. That one is actually a self-portrait that I did. And I don't know, it just has like my same aesthetic to it. The wooden one is, I made that. Um, actually, I had a 3D design class that I made that in. I did the um, wood cuttings for that. Then later on, I uh, painted over it. Actually, I painted over it multiple times with different paintings, and I didn't kind of figure out anything that I liked until that one. That one is actually, that one does have some psychological thing connected to it with me. I was going through a weird time, and I did actually make that inspired by sort of darker aspects of things. It came about accidentally because I spilled some tea on paper, and then it just kind of came from that. If you look um, closer into it, there's a lot of like dark creatures like coming out of it, um, so it's illustrated in that way. Art is important, and there's a lot of like cutting of the arts right now, and I think that's really unfortunate because it's sort of like denying the fact that we're basically surrounded by art all the time. And it also, depending on the art, it does have a broader social and political aspect to it. It all is important and to deny that it doesn't is frustrating. <laughs>
Thanks, Dad. <laughs> See, I have this problem where I'll hide money. <laughs> so, like, I have, like, 20 in my... This location. 20 over there. 100. I found a $100 bill the other day. Oh, you sound poor. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> have you ever been poor? Well... I know that, like Meredith said, we uh, we tend to eat cheap things, like ramen. And ramen's good, you know. We, But I think that it's cool how everybody has their own little recipe to make ramen a little bit cooler. Like, what is your trick for ramen? Well, sometimes I'll, I'll make ramen into chips. <laughs> <laughs> and what you do is you break it up first in the package, and then you put the seasoning on it and shake it up. And it's flavored chips. I personally like to put ramen with peanut sauce and corn. And how to spice up your ramen. And it's easy, cheap, and you'll probably have some of these things just around the house. <clears throat> oh, I thought I was gonna fart, but I didn't fart. Now we're having our second competition. Will you <laughs> soon learn that neither of us can spell or say words? <laughs> Here's. Four shorts. Blah. 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 Here's some shorts. Laud is to praise or extol. Laud? L-A-U-D. 
D. Laud. A appellate. <laughs> or appellate. Rapport is relation or connection? Rapport. <laughs> R-E-P-O-R-E. -E. Deductible oh, shit. means capable of being deducted. I should know how to spell this. Scent is a distinctive color. <laughs> Wait, what? Let's think. Let's think. Scent. C E N T. Good day! T4. Taylor is a person who makes men's or alters clothing. If I spell this wrong, I'm gonna be so embarrassed when I think I'm gonna spell it wrong. figure out what rhymes with brick. <laughs> um, uh, oh, hey! Yeah, that's pretty funny. Sorry. <laughs> that's supposed to be like, yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. I didn't think that was gonna be good. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have this uh, little short that I made a few years ago. This is my the first claymation I ever really did, and this. Something else you'll see is uh, one of our teachers is making a short this summer about bullying, and it's a really great film, and hopefully we'll strive to teach kids and everyone in general how to deal with the problem. Um, but yeah, she just had her fundraiser, and I decided to go film it, because there's a bunch of really fun events, and people, and things. <laughs> Then we're going to our final competition where we will decide the winner. Yep. It was a physical competition, this one. Um, one of us is clearly the weakest link. Goodbye. So this third one is just us seeing who can go get a soda the fastest from the vending machine. Yeah. Real exciting. <laughs> so we've showed you one of our our little submissions for the 24-hour competition festival thing where you make a film in a day. And we showed you the most recent one, but we actually did one the previous year. And this is that. <laughs> I am a monster. <laughs> Get off that chair and go sell some cookies. Oh, shut up, you old hag. If you don't sell any, I'm kicking you out. Cookies. What's in your cookies? Children. Woo! Ah! <laughs> hey.
crow, since I helped you, will you share? No, Fox. Fine, but can I at least hear your beautiful voice? <laughs> gotcha. Coke machine That was so fast. Sometimes to communicate with a ghost, you gotta sacrifice something of yourself. So, what do you do? I am a ghost acknowledger. Do you mean ghost hunter? No, you can't hunt ghosts. They're dead. I acknowledge them. Oh, right here is good. Spirits frequently try to communicate with me. I can communicate with them. I have an array of a variable arsenal of tools and equipment I can use. If there's ghost activity, the top sensor life will go off, uh, alerting me that there is there are ghosts within the wall. I'll now demonstrate. No ghosts. 
No ghost. No ghost. Ooh. Okay. Going commando, ghost sensing. <laughs> this is one of my tools. It is a detector of spirit activity. I'm going to set it on a flat surface, such as this desk. It's going to point where the ghosts are. See, it's moving. Right about there is where I need to be for the ghosts. Hmm? What do we have here? She's dead. I need a, uh, a proxy source to communicate with her. Does anybody have a tampon? You? Yeah, one second. Yep. This is gonna have to do. Mm. Yeah, no, she's gone. She's gone. Sometimes I'll wear a hat. Uh, it, it was a ghost. Yeah, alright. Uh, uh, look, look, now! Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. That's a. You know, maybe you think you saw one, but like, probably haven't undergone the proper training to really make that assumption, especially put it on film. You're back, you're back, you're back, you're back, you're back! <laughs> oh my gosh. This week, we finally have enough little uh, submissions to do it from the hat. <laughs> from the hat. From our hat. Sometimes I wear a hat. We're actually gonna draw from the hat, and it's a genre, an object, and a line of dialogue. And your submissions, we are going to pull them now from the hat and do it for next week's show. We're gonna have to make a short featuring those three things. We're gonna draw from the first hat right now with these awesome tambourine hats I found in a box outside of a building. <laughs> Cause that's not sketchy. <laughs> I've been worse. Anyway, drum roll please. And this is for object. <laughs> May the odds. Print. Sorry. Um. Cat litter. Cat litter. Now time to draw. A genre, or as some say it, a gainer. <laughs> a genre. Let's draw a genre. <laughs> this suspense is killing me. Action! Action! And now we have a line of dialogue. Now we have a line of dialogue. Excuse me for a second, I have a bunch of potatoes in the dryer. <laughs> well, this will be interesting, and I hope you stay tuned to watch this really weird short that we're about to make. Mm -hmm. This has been, yes, with M and M and M and M and M and M M M. A goodbye. A goodbye. A goodbye. 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 Goodbye.